Hello and welcome to the channel. The Federal High Court sitting in Abuja has lifted the suspension imposed on the embattled national chairman of the Labour Party, LP, Julius Abure, and others. This is coming as the acting national chairman of the party, Lamidia Papa, keeps acting out since the resumption of the election petition tribunal hearing earlier in the week. The Labour Party and its presidential candidate Peter Hobby is engulfed in a legal tussle with President-elect Bola Ahmed Sinyabu, declared the winner of the February 25th presidential election by INEC. Let's get you details of this one. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. Court lifts suspension order on LP Sherman Abu Ray orders. Justice Hamza Mwazu of a high court in Abuja on Friday granted an order of stay of execution on the suspension of Julius Abu Ray, chairman of the Labour Party LP, and others, which include the National Organizing Secretary Mr. Clement Ojuku and National Treasurer Olushi Opara who were restrained from parading themselves as LP national officials. The plaintiffs in the case are Martins Esikbali, John, Loki Shwaibu, Issa Zekeri, Omogbai Frank, Abokai Aliu, Ayokaire Latif, John Eloma, and Dr. Ayobami Arabambi. They had in an ex parte motion sought the removal of Abure and the three other national officers of the party. The judge, after listening to arguments from the parties, granted the order for a stay of execution pending the determination of the appeal filed by the defendants. Justice Muazu had on April 5th issued an interim injunction stopping Abure, Ibrahim, and the party's national organizing secretary, Mr. Clement Ojukwu and the National Treasurer, Olufshi Okbara, from parading themselves as national officers of LP. At the sitting yesterday, the defendants told the court that they had a notice of appeal pending at the Court of Appeal. After much arguments from the parties, the judge granted an order for a stay on the suspension on Abu Re and the other officials of the Labour Party as first served by the court. Following the April 5th ex parte injunction made by Justice Moazu stopping Abure, Ibrahim, and two other national officials of the party, Alex and Jesse Mayer, son, had on April 20, argued that the court lacked the jurisdiction to entertain the matter. The senior advocate had submitted that the matter before the court bordered on the internal affairs of the Labour Party, adding that criminal allegations made by the plaintiffs in the case could not be ventilated in an origination summon. He added that the eight plaintiffs that brought the case before the court were not members of the National Executive Council of the party and as such lacked the local standing to institute the case. Meanwhile, the Lamidi Papa led faction of the Labour Party LP has blamed the embattled national chairman of the party, Barrister Julius Abure, for the Federal High Court Kano judgment that sacked the Enugu State Governor elect Alex Oti and all the candidates of the Labour Party in Habia and Kano State in the just-concluded elections. The National Publicity Secretary of the party, Yabayomi Arabambi, who disclosed this in a statement he made available to newsmen in Abiyokuta, Ogun State Capital, revealed that Abure did not submit names of the party's registered members in Kano and Habia State to the independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, at the appropriate time. Arabambi noted that the failure of the party to submit its membership register to the INEC within 30 days before their primaries rendered the process invalid. He said, The truth is that Abure and his gang held on to these names and didn't submit them to the independent National Electoral Commission INEC in accordance with Section 72 of the Electoral Act 2022 as amended. While the national chairmen and secretaries of other political parties were busy doing all that was necessary to meet the deadline for the submission of names of registered members, Abure and company were busy shopping for candidates to swindle and smuggle their names into the party's register in exchange for those who won their primaries in some parts of the country. Today, 
We have been vindicated after a federal high court in Kano, presided over by Justice M. N. Yunusa, nullified the candidature of the Habia State Governor elect, Dr. Alex Oti, and all the candidates of the Labour Party in Habia and Kano State due to Labour Party's failure to comply with Section 72 of the Electoral Act 2022 as amended. Arabambi recalled that he has been lamenting in the past few months that Abure's action was not in compliance with the provisions of the 2022 Electoral Act. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. He said, the failure of the Labour Party to submit its membership register to the INEC within 30 days before their primaries rendered the process invalid. If we fail to comply with the provisions of the Electoral Act, we cannot as well say that we had candidates going into the elections in the affected states. He therefore challenged Abure to come out clean and explain to Nigerians and Labour Party faithful all over the world who he was working for as at the time in question. Why would any good-thinking leader of a political party that had the strength of a hurricane go to a war where he deliberately prepared a group for the defeat of his own army? This is no time for politics, but a time to tell ourselves the truth. Who is Abure working for when he forged the court documents on sale? Who was Abure working for when he refused to send the names of these candidates to Heineck at the appropriate time? The unsuspecting members of the obedient family must know that the court decision was a grand design of Abure to cash in on Labour Party fortunes for the sole benefit of himself and immediate families. Today, we are happy to inform you that the FCT High Court has ordered the maintenance of the restraining order made by the court on April 5, 2023, pending the court judgment from the appeal. The implication of today's FCT High Court judgment was that the leadership of Al RG Lamidia Papa and Al RG Saleh Lawand remain as the leadership of the party. Arabambi warned that all actions and decisions taken by Abure and his gangsters on behalf of the party, including the Asabanek meeting and all primaries conducted in Imo, Kogi, and Bayelsa states, are null and void and of no consequence. He said the affected candidates who participated in the primaries of the affected states must learn from history, stressing that the Apapa-led faction of the party will use all legal means to fight deliberate disobedience to court order. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.